Hello dear my summer carers. We have been assembling Satsuma throughout several videos already. You can find each stage of the assembly in the playlist by clicking the link in the description. Now, the Satsuma is completed and ready for its first start and then for its engine tuning. For a majority of players, the first start will not cause problems if the car was assembled with new spare parts. The malfunctions that each worn-out part brings can really ruin your life. Several worn parts may have several different symptoms, which make diagnostics harder. A playlist about various breakdowns is in the description as well. Before the first start, check whether you have poured all the fluids, motor oil, coolant, three bottles of brake fluid in each of three cylinders. I always forget to fill up the gas tank. Jerry can leads can be opened by pressing the F button. One more thing. The phone may start ringing at the most unsuitable moment, distracting you from tuning the car properly. For a bit of convenience, you can temporarily remove the hood. And oops, I think Satsuma is missing something. Front seats are tightened with four bolts by nine. One of them is especially hard to find, as it's covered with plastic. Rear seats are tightened with two bolts by nine as well. Get inside and turn over the engine. If you've followed the previous guides and done everything correctly, Satsuma will start as it should and will hold the idle RPM. Pull out the choke to warm up the engine faster. Even if it seems that the car is driving fine at first, this is a deceptive feeling. It still needs to be adjusted. Capuret, distributor and valves get random values after creating a new save. That's why we need to configure them. If in the few first seconds you hear heavy knocks coming from the engine, like the knocks of a hammer, immediately turn off the engine. You will have to disassemble it because you have not aligned the timing marks. If you don't turn the engine off quick enough, it will break. Let's start with the most important thing – adjusting the valves. To do this, take a wrench by 7 and with the running engine remove the valve cover. Then take a screwdriver. In short, there are two ways to adjust the valves. The first way to do it is to tune it by ear. Each valve needs to be scrolled down until you hear a clicking metallic sound. We may use the second method in case you have already ruined the engine tuning or the car stalls every time. In this method we reset each bolt so that all valves take the same value and then scroll each of them in the opposite direction a certain number of times. To reset, scroll down each bolt 25 times. In the newest versions of the game, bolts stop turning when they reach their limits. When it happens, scroll them up 7 times. Doing this you'll get the most powerful setting, but if your mouse scroller is not very accurate, like mine, I would recommend scrolling back a little bit more, like 9 times, and then use the first method to adjust valves by ear. In this case you will get 100% result. What did we just do? 
By scrolling the bolts down, we make the valve looser, which allows it to move faster and let the fuel mixture pass into the combustion chamber or release the exhaust gases faster, depending on whether it is an intake valve or an exhaust valve. Factory setting is a bit different as it aims to save fuel at expense of the performance. In this case, the exhaust valves are tighter, but let's be honest, show me at least one Satsuma driver who actually saves fuel. What an inglorious waste of life. We have adjusted the valves, but the car still accelerates poorly. It's time to adjust the ignition. That's what the distributor is for. This is a device, thanks to which a spark is applied to the right spark plug at the right time. Take the screwdriver again and slightly unscrew the locking bolt. Then turn the distributor clockwise with your bare hands until you hear a ringing sound similar to an old school bell. Turn the distributor one scroll back and tighten the locking bolt. To adjust it using scrolls, turn the distributor clockwise until it stops spinning and then counterclockwise by 28 scrolls. In fact, there are not so many things to adjust in Satsuma and the last one will be the carburetor tuning, which means setting the air-fuel mixture. This mixture enters the combustion chamber and ignites when the piston compresses it. In its turn, gases from burning expands and pushes the piston back. This process in general makes the engine work. The carburetor is tuned only on a warmed-up engine and without using the choke. Attention! Before tuning, make sure the choke is off and the car is warm. To simplify the carburetor setup, you can buy a special fuel mixture sensor from the catalog. It's called an AFR gauge. At the same time, you need to connect it to the dashboard connector to make it work. When wiring, always unscrew the negative terminal from the battery, otherwise you may be electrocuted. To pass the inspection and get the license plates, the fuel mixture must be set to the factory ratio of 14.7. This means 14.7 parts of air per one part of gasoline. This ratio is set at factories for all gas-powered cars, since it provides maximum power along with the full combustion of fuel. Scrolling up makes the mixture leaner, while the numbers on the gauge get higher. Scrolling down makes the mixture richer and the numbers lower. The maximum power is achieved by using a richer mixture, with the ratio of 12.6. In this case, the remains of unburned fuel go straight into the exhaust pipe and pollute finished environment, which pisses off Inspector Lindell. The carburetor can be easily adjusted without the gauge as well. While tuning it, pay attention to a couple of signs. The first one is the color of smoke that is coming from the muffler. If it is black, then there is too much gasoline in the mixture and its unburned particles flies out. To make the fuel mixture leaner, scroll the bolt on the carburetor up. If you hear loud bends when pressing on the throttle, the fuel mixture is too lean and you need to scroll the carburetor bolt down. It's always easier to see black smoke and make the mixture leaner step by step until the exhaust fumes become barely visible. That is the factory value 14.7. If the exhaust fumes become white, it is difficult to determine the quality of the mixture. But a tachometer will help you. You can either buy it in the catalog or find it in the dirt tray. If your RPM is idling closer to 600, the mixture is rich, scroll the bolt up. If the RPM is closer to 1000, scroll it down. Once again, the carburetor is tuned only on a warmed up car without a choke. To increase Satsuma's power with the stock carburetor, some remove the air filter. Indeed, the car becomes more powerful until the dirt clogs up the throttle, so it's stuck in the open position. And the car will accelerate until you crash into the nearest tree. If you want to, the stuck carburetor can be repaired by the mechanic, but it will be much, much smarter to order a twin carburetor from the catalog. It is weaker than a racing one, but it 
passes the inspection and is much easier to tune. By the way, there is an up-to-date video about the inspection and getting license plates on my channel. That will be the next step of assembly of the Satsuma. Show your Satsuma to the world. Record yourself driving your Satsuma, provided with your nickname, save files, upload it on Google Drive or something like this. Send me a link by email. I will pick the most interesting Satsuma's builds and make a top of the best and the worst ones, so you can rate them. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Don. Take a Satsuma to the inspection and stay well.